Hi guys, today's video is three months review of Starlord and Shig Sparrow cover. From the very first day of this year, I've started studying 1,100 words. My plan was to study daily, but it was pretty hard for me to keep doing this every day. Recently, I'm reading, writing, working, and journaling. Nothing is done perfectly, but I'm always busy for some reason. Anyway, let's get back to the point. If there is anyone who doesn't know about Starlodge, it is a simple notebook with Bible-like thin and crispy papers, which comes in A6 and A5 size. Mine is A6 blue, which is perfectly together with my Shig Sparrow Alice in Carol. From now on, I'll let you know how I study 1100 words book. This book provides 240 paragraphs, and each paragraph has new five vocabularies to learn. It is planned for 48 weeks. That means we need to repeat studying daily for almost 10 months. It is kind of like torturing myself in a novel way. But the reason why I do this is that I want to be improved. I want to be a better person. Maybe someone will ask me, what is the relationship between English vocabulary and better person? But as you very well know, doing something steadily is not something easy. It is like training myself to get patience and overcome all the laziness from the bottom of my heart. So I do this daily, sometimes every second day, and I'm trying not to pass at least in three days. Usually I read aloud the paragraph for more than five times and try to infer the definition of five vocabularies and then I write a whole paragraph in my stallage while marking five vocabularies with different color and taking note for definition. On another notebook, I only summarize vocabularies and its definition without paragraph and reviewing them on weekend after a month, whenever I have some time, that's how I study English vocabulary. And let's move on to the next topic, Shig Sparrow. I know there are a lot of people who love this brand all over the world. My first Shig Sparrow was Fergus Passport Classic, and I couldn't stop myself from buying six more covers from Shig Sparrow. This one is chamomile in tea house, cascade model in A6 size. At the first sight, honestly speaking, I didn't like it so much. I've got this one from the second chance sale and yellow was the least favorable leather color for me. So I was totally disappointed after I got this and I even posted picture on the Instagram and commented like, I hate this. And I have to apologize for my childish attitude to Shakespeare and my dear chamomile. Because now it is my favorite leather cover among almost 30 pieces that I have. Chamomile is vegetable tanned leather and it means it ages like so naturally and beautifully. Alice is crumb tanned, it doesn't change its color. You can see my chamomile is shimmering with a natural glow. And any pressure, sweat, and oil let my chamomile more patinate. Can you see the difference between vegetable tanned leather and crumb tanned one? And the thickness of each leather is quite different. I prefer thick and sturdy leather. I think tea house leather is my jam. I have chamomile and earl grey. Both of them is quite nice for me. 
If you have Jig Sparrow, which leather do you have, and which one is your favorite? My dream leather is Buttered Rum, which is now released as Emma. I'm gonna get Emma Heritage when Curved Pen Loop returns. Removable Pen Loop is not for me. So it is time to say goodbye. Really nice to talk to you about Stolage and Jig Sparrow today. If you wish to talk more about leather covers, notebooks, and vintage journal, please feel free to leave comments below. I'll answer back as much as possible. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.